Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 15 of Let's Play Shining Force. Alright, it looks like we could actually just retreat and go downstairs. However, I feel like, you know what? This is a good team. Why don't we just stick with what we have? Okay, looks like the uh, sea bats might try to approach. So you know what? I'm going to put Domingo back here. Because it can serve as a good point of defense. Hope the shellfish is ready to move immediately. Can't go beyond this threshold, but that's okay. We'll keep our stronger units around here. Just to stop any enemies in their tracks. And we got at least one, well actually two flying units, so you know what, we're good. I'll keep Ammon back here. This will keep Tau safe. But from the looks of things, the enemies are quite aggressive. So we'll put ourselves a little bit of a wall over here to keep any enemies at bay. And I'll send Gort to attack the conch right away. Oh my god! What a lucky crit! This is our first attack! And we already wiped someone. Alright, since the bats are on the left side, putting Hans over here is a good idea. Let's see them do their worst. Now, who else am I going to put on the right side to back up Xylo? Ernest can stay over here. Hope none of y'all get seasick. Because we've been on this boat for over a week. I'll just go with level 1. It only has, what, 9 HP? And we did exactly that. Good. That'll conserve our MP a little bit better. Oh, there's bats and a Pegasus Knight over here, too! Well, they're, but they're not even doing anything. You know what, we can put Max over here to back up Silo. I don't think that's a bad idea. Keep Low and Chris on standby. Chris over here, Low for the left side. You. Hit him with a level 2 freeze. That'll be a good use of our magic. And sadly, that's all we can do. They're positioned so that only Domingo can go after them right now. I could also send Ammon over. Please don't miss. Of course you miss. I am a little bit concerned about the bats, but you know what? If we just inch over a little bit, we get closer to an attack. Can't do anything about the bats, so I guess I'll go after the conch. Hey, we can't all one-shot a conch shell. Unlike some people that are just ready to uh, wreak havoc. You know what? Go after Domingo. He's a damage sponge, or assuming that's a he. Like, anytime you got a damage sponge on your side, use it. Alright, flying unit against flying unit. It's about time, they actually dodge her. Or she gets a dodge. <laughs> Let's 
Um, I guess I'm better off going after this one. Because the other bat, the others can fight. Hey, Han's a level 15. Solid level, I like that. Good, it's only a Pegasus Knight, no big deal. I take it back, that was a bit of a big deal. I'm surprised they're still able to hurt us so hard. Given how late in the game they are. Or like how they arrived early in Chapter 4 and are still able to inflict some hurt. Ah, Chris is already nearby. You know what? Stick around and go for an attack. Hey, level 14! Hey, look at that! That, uh, hit... That stat box actually increased in size. That's what you like to see. Alright, I think we got this fight under control. And once we got everyone else, we're heading south. And what's left? A bunch of Pegasus Knights? I think we can handle those. Yeah, level 1 will suffice. Why well, send Domingo to back up the, uh, the Northeast Force? Five more MP. That's wild. Is it really just not going to head on over? An odd choice, I must say. You know what, just play it safe, we'll do level 2. I just didn't want to be one point short of damage. I don't think that conch is going to be able to get over to us. Just in range. To do one damage! Oh, hell, you are amazing for taking hits. Are you better off going to the right? I think uh, Ammon's better off going right. Oh, look out. Now you gotta deal with two centaurs. Level 10, baby. I remember seeing a meme on Twitter once. It's like, could you imagine if your dad was a centaur and your mom was a mermaid and somehow you were born with both human traits, so now you're just a guy? I thought that was pretty funny. Because that would so happen. You know, let's draw out that other enemy. Gort can probably do his thing. Being a brick wall. Of utter justice. Oh no, Tao is going to get hit. Whatever will I do? Not have to worry about it. Uh oh. Now the other knights have been aggroed. That didn't take much. Oh no! The shellfish also does one! How sad is that? You know what, Domingo probably doesn't even have to back up the other force. Let's try to do as much fire damage as possible. On a wooden boat, no less! Yeah, nothing could go wrong with that. I 
I think that's the last of the flying enemies on the northeast side. What is our position now? Okay, still five enemies. Two on the ship, three on the east. An odd decision, not gonna go after Gort. You know, let's just eliminate this conch. Put it out of its misery. There you go, Hans. Help out. with an allergy ever holy crapola just got utterly utterly destroyed god that is insane All right, so what's left? Is it really everyone on the right side? Yeah, it's only these three left. All right, we got this. I'm liking our chances now. I guess we kind of, it kind of does feel like we're coasting a little bit. But I know we're going to be letting our guard down and get absolutely wrecked later. Ooh. I can only get two. You know what, I could go for some, uh, steamed up shellfish. Give me some crab, I'm good for the evening. Especially with that little bit of butter and a bit of lemon. That is the bomb.com. I think I'd rather go after that Pegasus Knight. And you. You're only level 12. Take out that shellfish. Level 13. That's what I'm talking about. Every little bit will go a long way. Oh, jeez. Do I go after the one with 5 HP or the one with 5 HP? Decisions, decisions. Oh, I'm positioned to a point I can't eliminate that other Pegasus Knight. Ah, damn. Maybe I should have got, gone after the other one. A crit only did five. A crit only did five damage to Gort. This man has the cement in his bloodstream. Look out, world. I know you're not gonna get much experience, but get the kill, Zylo. We win. The ship was damaged in the battle. We must repair it. That island is over there. Or that island over there. Thank you for destroying those monsters. My name is Shell of Warl. You can repair your ship in Warl. Please follow me. I've heard of Warl. We should be able to get the ship fixed there.
You mean a mermaid actually guided us into land not to crash into? It'll take some time to repair the ship. Try to realize, rest and relax. Will do. Welcome to Whirl. Whirl is a great place, but nothing ever happens here. Why not? We arrived. That is something. There's lots to see here. Take the guest boat if you get tired of walking. If we're not lazy. Oh wow, you sell fish. One of our island's friars is missing. We can't find him anywhere. Do you like fish? Yeah. You like it here then. That's all we eat. That doesn't sound like a good thing. Like, you don't want to be eating only one thing. You get tired of it. I love pizza as much as the, the next guy, but man. That'd be nuts. <laughs> well, there's no law that says the king can't own a shop. Can I help you? There's probably a law that says that a king cannot, you know, like, use his reign to uh, affect commerce. Alright, I'll take a medical herb. Who needs it? I think someone did use up their uh, healing items, did they? I know I used some before. Oh, in that case, never mind. We're all good. Why is a king operating an item shop? Welcome to World Castle! The king is in! I want one's over here! What do you got? A bread of life? Huh, that's much better than what you can get in any shop. Uh, let's see. I don't really know who to give it to. I'm gonna say Max. Because if he runs out of HP, it's over. A defense potion? Oh my god, we're getting real lucky. That one, I'm thinking about giving to Xylo. And a medical herb. So we didn't even need to buy one. You get one for free. See, that king was trying to take advantage of my need to uh, survive. It was like, oh, you could have taken one for free. Well, why didn't you give me that one? You douche canoe. Oh, Ammon didn't have a healing item. A word of warning. Don't go past the buoys in the water. Danger lurks out there. Greetings! We will gladly repair your ship. If you tell others of our lovely island. Oh. Bit of a take and give kind of thing. A shower of cure? What is a shower of cure? Whatever it is, I think I'm gonna let somebody else hold on to it. You. You can hold on to it for a while. A mobility ring. Um, we should get this ring. I'm gonna give it to you. I gotta make sure I have it equipped, of course. Power spear. Oh my god, now he can move nine spaces instead of seven. That is nuts. Oh, he's going to cover a lot of the map. Yeah, we'll just hold on to that for now. Island Hotel, now open. That's a weird place to put a sign. Like, right on the side. Who does that? Welcome to Island Hotel! No, no, money is not necessary. Please make yourself at home. When was I, my... When was I home last time? Did you come here to see the famous Ring Reef by any chance? Yeah. I thought so. But you can't go there right now. It's too dangerous to even get close. 
Why well, have a feeling that the game is telling me to go there? I want to visit Ring Reef. Would you go with me? Okay. Great. But we can't go there right now. Too dangerous. Maybe later. Well, what was the point of asking me if we can't go? God! Wasting our time. Okay, looks like there's more to see that I can only access through the boat. Hi. I'm gonna stick to my guns and wait till level 20 before I promote. Even though I'm sure I can get by promoting at, say, level 16, I have been su suggested wait until level 20, and that's what I'm gonna do. The History of Whirl, Introduction to Surf Fishing, and many more books. I'm Shimol, Shell's aunt. I've, been, I've seen strange lights in Ring Reef lately. Spooky. Is it really that bad? I'm Shella, Shell's sister. Don't go beyond those buoys. The currents are dangerous. I'm gonna have to go there. I know I'm gonna have to go there. What else is over here before I go? Some stranger left for Ring Reef by ship. Hope nothing happened to him. That must have been the missing friar. Better go look for him. Just make sure you don't die. I feel like I'm in heaven. This is surely a paradise. Have you ever heard of Prompt? No. It said that descendants of the ancients lived there. Wasn't I told to go to Prompt? They say the whole sea is pouring into Ring Reef. What will become of us? I don't know, is this Ring Reef? I don't think you have anything to worry about then. Hi. Oh, the guest. Would you like to hear a secret? I think our missing friar is in Ring Reef. Don't call it a hunch. I mean, call it a hunch. Don't tell anyone. But why'd you tell me, someone you never met? I hear there's a land called Dragonia far to the east. Sacred dragons live there. What about non-sacred dragons? Do they live there too? Or are they just not allowed? Okay, I see a building I can't access. I wonder why I can't go there. Other than the buoys. I don't see anything else to do. There's rocks blocking the way to the east. Did I go all the way to the west? I can't go that way for some reason. Alright, I guess I'll go down. Hi, I'm Shelra! Shell's mom! Are you planning to go past the buoys? Well, I am now. The current could dash your boat against the rocks. Do you still want to go? Okay, but be careful! Oh no, I just took one step. Oh, I'm dead now. Nice to have a nap. Well, I'm glad to see you were up. You were thrown from your ship. I rescued you. Strange doings. The water and ring reef vanished and a strange creature appeared. It might have something to do with the legend of a shining path that leads to Metapha. The legend says Metapha is a land of the ancients. Okay, so you're not necessarily a priest that can help me. Do you really not say my game? No, I gotta talk to someone else. This looks like where I need to go, though. Let me see what's on the other side. Nothing. Oh, hi. I guess I'll follow the skeleton. What are you doing here? I must inform the master! Oh, and it looks like I can't go any other way. Nothing is unusual. Really? We are in a place like this. How is nothing unusual? And this doesn't work. So it looks like I have to go the way that the skeleton did. Okay. It's leading me into a trap, I think. 
while we're thrust right into battle. I invoke a path before me. What? Shining Force! I was so close! So close! I shall destroy you all! Alright, before we, uh, well, before we end the episode, let's take a look at our map. Oh, we got a lot of enemies around us. Pretty much on the outside as well. Alright, let's see what we're up against. More sea bats. That's nothing new. Skeletons! Whoa. They have long swords now. So they have the same amount of HP as before, but they are stronger. There's hellhounds over here as well. They haven't changed. Do all these skeletons have more power? Yeah, they do. And there's a worm. Yeesh. This could be a little problematic. So we got sea bats and skeletons, hellhounds, worms. And I'm guessing that's a master mage. Armed with a holy staff, too. This could be a bit of trouble. But I think our team is up to the task. So let's stop the video here, and in the next part, we're going to have to fight our way out of here. See everyone, thanks for watching.